guys, it's Mrs. Brewer again, and today we're going to talk a little bit about how do you find the main idea in a text, and what is the main idea in a text. And we're going to use this book, What If You Had Animal Noses. But before we do that, let's talk about what is the main idea of a text. The main idea of the text is basically, what is the passage mostly about? So when you go to start reading one, a book like this, and you get to a section, ask yourself, What's the author mostly talking about in this section? If you can ask yourself that nine times out of 10, you can probably find the main idea. Some other questions that you might ask in order to find the main idea of the text is you might say, well, what words do I hear over and over and over and over again? If you hear the same words over and over and over, chances are they're important for that section and they have something to do with the main idea. Another thing you're going to want to look at is you're going to look at headings. Remember when you open up an informational text like this one, um, you're going to see at the beginning of sections, there's a big bold word at the top of the page. This one on this page is a tapir. Okay, a tapir. Now, I have a feeling that when I look at the picture on this page and I look at the heading, I could say that, hmm, I bet the main idea of this section is some is, is going to tell me about the uh, tapir nose. And I'm going to say it's about the nose because the book is, what if I had an animal nose? Okay, so look at the headings. Those are going to help you a lot. The next thing you might want to look at is look at the very first sentence. When I look at the very first sentence of this, it says, a tapir is a plant-eating animal with a very handy nose. Okay, well, when I look at that, what did the first sentence say? It told me the name of the animal, the tapir, and it told me that it's about its nose and how it eats plants, right? So those three things taken in, into um, effect, I can kind of say the main idea of this is probably what the tapir's nose is like. Okay, the other thing I might look for is look at the pictures. When you look at the pictures on this page, what do you see over and over and over again? Well, you're seeing this animal, we're seeing his nose. Here, look at this picture. This picture has an up close personal view of that, of that tapir's nose. It's kind of funny looking, isn't it? And even over here, we see that this page is actually showing you, well, what if a kid grew a tapir nose? That's maybe what it would look like. Okay, so let's use this first page and let's practice um, trying to find the main idea. So we talked about the tape here. Let's go ahead and let's pick another one in here. How about, oh, everybody loves these, especially if these are coming, the cottontail rabbit. Okay, I'm going to use my, my uh, clues up here. And before I even read, I'm going to be thinking, what's the heading say? What's the first sentence say? What pictures am I seeing? What words am I hearing repeated? And when I figure out what my main idea is, I'm going to put that right here in my graphic organizer. You're going to have a graphic organizer like this at home. The main idea goes right here in the middle of the flower. So let's go ahead and let's read and let's see what this says. Okay, cottontail rabbit. Hang on to that. I think that's important. A rabbit's nose is packed with smell sensors, and rabbit noses twitch for many different reasons. A rabbit wiggles his nose up and down to pull more air in when it sniffs. That helps it find food or tell when hungry hunters are close so it can hop to safety. A rabbit's nose twitches faster when it's interested or excited, sometimes as many as 120 times a minute. Fact, rabbits have long, super sensitive whiskers on either sides of their nose. These whiskers help rabbits feel if a space is big enough to squeeze through, even in the dark. Okay, now let's stop and think. What words did you hear repeated over and over and over and over again on this page? I bet you heard something about the cottontail rabbit and hmm, what body part are we talking about? Let's look again. Oh yeah, their noses. Okay, so I think maybe the main idea of this passage we could say is how the cottontail rabbit uses its nose. Okay, so we'll write that in the middle. How? I'm going to abbreviate the cottontail rabbit uses its nose. Okay, now is when we have to dive a little deeper into the text. Now we have to go through and we have to say, okay, so if that's 
what the main idea is, what details prove that to me? How do I know it's about the cottontail rabbit and its nose? I used my headings, and I can't just write in here, the heading says it's cottontail rabbit. The topic sentence says, here's how a cottontail rabbit uses its nose. Okay, I want to look for actual evidence from this text. So let's look back at it again. A rabbit's nose is packed with smell sensors, and rabbit noses twitch for many different reasons. A rabbit wiggles its nose up and down to pull more air in when it sniffs. That helps it to find food or to tell when hungry hunters are close so it can hop to safety. Oh, I just heard at least three different things that I could write down for how the rabbit uses its nose. So let's look again. It's packed with smell sensors. Do you think is that important? Is that an important detail about how the rabbit's going to use its nose? I think it probably is. Let's go ahead and let's write that in one of our pad, our petals. Nose packed with smell sensors. Okay, now, did it tell us anything about why the rabbit does the twitchy thing with its nose that we see bunnies do all the time? Let's see, it says, Noses twitch for many different reasons. Okay, should that be a detail or do you think I need to be more detailed? I think we need to be a little bit more detailed than that. Let's look a little further and see what else it says. A rabbit wigg wiggles its nose up and down to pull air in. Could we write wiggles its nose to pull air in? Is that a reason or a way it uses its nose? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so wiggles. nose to pull air in. Okay, then let's see, what else? Oh, it tells us here another reason why it even pulls the air in. Helps it find food. That would be important. We want to know why it's, why it's pulling this air in its nose. Helps it find food. Okay, notice how we've gone back to the text over and over and over again. You need to do that so that way you're finding these details. Let's see, so we said um, helps it find food, but then listen to this. It also says it helps it tell when hungry hunters are close. So we also want to put the fact that it's not just using its nose to find food, it's using it to locate predators and get away from predators. Okay, so I'm going to write to avoid predators. Okay, so now I found four different ways that I can support that it's how the cottontail rabbit uses its nose. Let's see if we can find one more, okay? So down here it says a rabbit's nose twitches faster when it's interested or excited. Do we need to know that? No, that's kind of extra information. If we had to, we could put it down, but it's not the most important thing. Let's look at the fact, or the fact box. Rabbits have long, super sensitive whiskers on either sides of their nose. These whiskers help rabbits feel if a space is big enough. Do you think is that important? I think that's a pretty important fact. So we could write that down in our last fact box. It uses its whiskers. to sense space, and that would be the space around it, so it can escape if a, if a predator came. All right, so that is how we find the main idea in this book, What If You Had Animal Noses. I hope that helps you this week as you're looking for a main idea and your stories. Uh, if you need anything, feel free to reach out to me or your teacher online on your Class Dojo app. All right, good luck this week. Have fun.